Hi guys, I'm coming at you from my bed. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about a few of the ways that you can protect your curly hair whilst you sleep. When I first started out looking at how to care for curly hair three years ago, the most common piece of advice I saw was ditch the cotton pillowcase. Cotton has quite an open thread and this can actually snag curly hair and is one of the causes of frizz. As you guys can see, I have a satin pillowcase and the reason why they recommend satin is because it has a closed thread. So this reduces friction and allows your hair to just glide over it as you're moving at night. Satin pillowcases are becoming increasingly popular and they're now readily available from places such as Dunelm, Boohoo and Shane. I haven't always had an actual satin pillowcase though, so don't feel like you have to rush out and buy one. I actually used to use an old satin nightie, so if you have one of those floating around, it's the exact same thing. Another way of protecting your hair whilst you sleep is to put it into braids. So I'm going to attempt to demo that now for you guys. Now, I don't often braid my hair to sleep, just purely because I don't know about anybody else, but when it comes to bedtime, I'm too tired to braid my hair because if, like me, you've got long hair, it takes quite a while. So what I do when I do braid my hair, I'm aware as well, by the way, you are supposed to do it like this so the braid goes straight down the back of your head, but I can't do that. I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed or what, but I have to do it sideways. So I apologise for all the braiding experts out there. So what I do... I split my hair into three, start doing the first braid, then I take a piece of hair from the back of my head, make sure it's not getting all snagged and tangled up, and my middle finger is what I use to catch it. I then do another braid, make sure it's all been pulled through, then take a section from the front of my hair and again, middle finger, braid it through. And then I just repeat that across the rest of my head. Now in the summer months, I do sometimes like to braid my hair, just purely because it's so long and thick that banging it up in two braids just keeps it off the back of my neck especially when I've got two young kids running around. So on the occasions when I braid my hair in the summer, I will occasionally sleep in it, just because it's already in a protective style then. Okay, so all, I just carry on with this pattern all the way down, making sure each time that it's not getting tangled. And this is a good way, especially if you do it quite gently, it's a good way of keeping your hair protected and helping reduce frizz and breakage whilst you sleep. One of the gentler ways of protecting your hair whilst you sleep is to wear a satin nightcap. This just really helps reduce friction between your hair and the pillowcase. I have used nightcaps in the past, but I find them quite tight on my head. I don't know if that's just because I've got a big head but either way, I don't find them particularly comfortable. I think I might just need to get a bigger cap. The nightcap I've used in the past was cheap as chips off Amazon, and they're available in most hair shops as well. A buff is just a cylinder piece of fabric that's often used in sports. I've actually recently ordered myself a buff, so once it arrives, I'll be able to post a video reviewing it and let you guys know how I get on. If you use a buff as opposed to a nightcap, it can help stop your curls from getting squashed during the night. I've seen people on social media using buffs to help protect their cast while they sleep and when they take the buff off in the morning throughout the night this cast has gently been broken. The last way of protecting your hair that I'm going to talk about in this video is the one that I personally use the most, it's called the pineapple. It's similar to using a buff in that it's a gentle way of protecting your hair. When I pineapple my hair I use one of these, I got it as a pack of 10 from Primark for about a pound, one pound fifty. When I put my hair up in a pineapple, I flip my head upside down and then I just loop the band over my hair once just to keep it in place. Once 
One piece of advice I would give when you're pineappling your hair is just be mindful that the back of the hair can sometimes fall out during the night and that's where the buff will have a slight advantage. And with that, I'm going to sleep. Good morning. So it's the next morning. As you can see, my hair's fallen out a little bit at the back, but generally it's stayed in the pineapple reasonably well. So now I'm going to take it down and show you guys what it looks like. When you take off the invisible bulb, don't just pull it out because that snags your hair. Stretch the bubble out and gently pull it. There we go. The good thing about pineappling is it does give you crazy volume the next day. Now what I like to do now is let my hair settle for an hour or so. So that's usually when I'll have my breakfast and sort the kids out. In the past, I have refreshed my hair the second I took it out the pineapple. But I find it doesn't work as well because my hair hasn't worked out where it wants to sit for the day. And with that, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. better thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought in the comments and as always don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button see you soon bye bye i can see i can see i can see they recommend satin is because satin has a closed say satin more is because it has a slow it doesn't have a slow anything the nightcap i've used in the past was just cheap of chips Cheap of chips. Go big, go big, go big.